Bernie, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Well deserved. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to ask a few questions, and uh, you've seen them already. So. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, what individual had the greatest impact in your wrestling career? Uh, my brother, my older brother, uh, Art Olmos. He actually was wrestling in high school when I was in junior high school. And uh, I went and checked out uh, his matches. And just the one-to-one uh, -one combat kind of like, mm -hmm. and the, the crowds yelling and screaming and stuff, and just the aggressiveness and, and the, the skill that it took to actually take somebody down, hold them down, and sometimes even pin them. So that inspired me, that motivated me. And my brother Art would take me under his wing and teach me certain moves, and I'd mm -hmm. go back to the junior high and use those moves. And, they thought I was pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's always nice to have an older right. brother that helps you out. Yep. Uh, did you have an idol in wrestling uh, growing yeah. up? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, it was uh, Rick Sanders. Mm -hmm. uh, he wrestled uh, back in the uh, late uh, middle 60s mm -hmm. to about 72. Mm -hmm. He was a two time silver medalist in the Olympics in 68 and 72. Oh. Uh, he was also a Pan American uh, champion. He was a world, he took the silver medal twice uh, in the World Games. Uh, he, and uh, he was NCAA champion, I think, three years. Uh, he, and I used to watch him, and he, he inspired me, and, and he's the one who actually gave me that I want to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. So he's the one who probably influenced me a whole heck of a lot. Oh, that guy is a great wrestler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. You remember him? Yeah, Portland State. Yeah, he went yeah. to Portland. That's right. Then he coached Portland for yeah. a while. What aspect of your personality, Bernie, uh, enabled you to be successful in the sport of wrestling? Right. Probably that tenacity that, that I've, I've had since I was a little kid. That's what my mom and dad used to tell me. I was always mm. a tenacious little kid. And uh, I wouldn't take no for an answer that I couldn't do it. Uh, I would do it. And uh, it's just uh, like in Spanish, you say the si se puede. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. There isn't anything that can actually stop you from attaining your goals or achieving whatever you want in life. Mm -hmm. And I've always thought that. Uh, and actually, I believe every individual person can do that. They just have to focus more mm -hmm. and believe in themselves. And I believe that I could do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a big factor for anyone, that's right. for sure. Uh, do you have one outstanding memory uh, throughout your wrestling career? It could be a match, it could be right. an experience you had. Yeah, it, it was a match. Uh, I don't know if uh, people remember it. There was a, a uh, sophomore from San Bernardino Junior College, Terry Hall. He actually ended up placing third in the, in the country in the NCAA Division mm -hmm. One later on uh, in his career. But uh, I was a freshman, he was a sophomore. And we uh, wrestled at the uh, Cal Poly Invitational, which at the time was one of the biggest junior college invitational tournaments in yep. the nation. It was, one of the big, it was one of the biggest, if not the biggest. And he had taken state the year before, and uh, he had been uh, selected as the outstanding wrestler in the state tournament as a freshman. And I was a freshman that year when we met, he was a sophomore. We met in the finals of that tournament. And uh, it was a tough, uh, it was a tough match. Uh, had he been a little bit more patient and more strategic, he might have won. But uh, I was pretty strategic in my wrestling also, and I was aware of what the score was. I was aware how I, how I could take him down and things like that. And he just wanted to pin me. <laughs> That's what he wanted. Yeah. And he would, there was no way he was going to pin me. I yeah. knew that. Uh, and it, he actually got tired trying to pin me and I took the match over and I won. It was something like five to five to one, I believe. But uh, yeah, it's- Yeah, he was quite an athlete. Oh yeah, he was a heck of an athlete. Yeah, he was. And what made you get involved in the sport of wrestling, Bernie? It, it was- your uh, bro older brother? Yeah, he was my older brother. You know, he's the one that took me under his wings. He kind of guided me. He, uh, he was, he was uh, really supportive of what I wanted to do. When I was at Foothill, uh, when he was at Foothill, I mean, he would, as I was in high school, he'd take me to Foothill to practice and yeah. show me moves. And that was when the cradle was a biggie, right? The yeah. inside cradle, outside cradle, yeah. and those, now they're nothing. But at that time, they were really, people hadn't seen them yet. And uh, he was teaching me these things when he was in, at uh, Foothill Junior College and I was in high school. 
So, uh, you know, he just pushed me and pushed me and kept, uh, uh, you know, just kept uh, telling me what I could do, and never do this, never do that, do this, do that. A lot of the techniques and a lot of the strategies and a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of the, uh, the strategies in wrestling. A lot of people don't understand strategies about mm -hmm. wrestling, whether you're behind by one or behind by three or ahead by one or three, how you wrestle and what yeah. you need to do. He taught me all those things. So yeah. without a doubt, he was, he was Arturo, my brother, was the man. Yeah, that's great. So yeah. I said you still look up to him too. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If you had the opportunity to start your career over again, would you change anything? Uh, I don't really think I would change anything. Uh, the uh, the coaches I had were great. Uh, Coach uh, Cavalli in high school, he was great. Uh, Coach Jim Noon from junior college was great. And then Bill Martell when I was at Cal Berkeley, he was he was a he was a technician. I mean, he knew how to how to perform a move five or six different ways, and I mean, yeah. he, he was great at all that. And uh, the people, the, the, the coaches, my teammates, all those folks, I mean, it was just an experience I wouldn't want to change for anything. Yeah. I enjoyed my wrestling career. I enjoyed what it, what it uh, was able to provide for me, friendship, going to travel. Mm -hmm. I was from a little uh, area, un barrio, you call it in Spanish, uh, mm -hmm. Mexican little neighborhood. Yeah. There wasn't a whole lot there. And you get into wrestling, and all of a sudden you start traveling, you start getting on planes, flying places, and yeah. doing things like that, which I thought was great. Just expands your horizon. Oh, oh it really does. Yeah, without so a doubt. So I, I wouldn't change it. What would you like people to remember about you, Bernie? Uh, what I would like people to remember about me is that I'm basically an extension of the people around me. I think sometimes uh, we as individuals take too much credit for accomplishing certain things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, I mean, we do deserve some credit, don't misunderstand me. Yeah. But the people around us, the coaches, my brothers, my mom and dad who provided for us, who took us here, took us there, uh, my teammates, uh, all of those people uh, gave me certain little things that I've always used in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want them, I want people to know that if it wasn't for all the people around me, I wouldn't be who I am and I wouldn't be here right yeah. now. Yeah, we are, we are kind of a compilation of all of our experiences. Exactly, and that's exactly what we are. People touched our lives. Yeah, sometimes uh, we as individuals try to take too much credit for what we do. <laughs> I would agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernie, it's been a pleasure uh, meeting you and talking to you, and congratulations on being inducted into the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank in you. It's a great honor, and I appreciate it very much. And thank you for the interview, and uh, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Thank you.